All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we're gonna quickly talk about that global data download that we got earlier this morning. And honestly, as far as new stuff goes, there wasn't really anything that we weren't expecting. There weren't any surprises, you know? So the assets for this data download were for the STR transforming Kefla. There's the SSR, there's the TUR. Also the new Int Vados, SSR, and TUR, and also a few token awakenings for the tech based Khalifla, the STR based Kale, and also the free to play STR Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, and free to play Int Super Saiyan 2 Kale. So, yeah, all these things are coming. It's obviously super exciting. I'm hyped, but we knew this stuff was coming. So, like I said, no surprises. Um, I believe we also actually got some assets for uh, Kefla's Awakening Medal as well as I think some assets for her Dokkan event. There wasn't anything for Extreme Super Battle Road, which we know is coming, but I'm guessing that that's gonna come at a later point, maybe in a week or so. So probably another data download for that. And uh, also nothing new for Chain Battle, even though most of the assets for Chain Battle were already in the game files for Global, so that's also not a surprise. Oh, by the way, if you guys want the details for all these units and Awakenings, I'll link you to a video that I made a couple days ago that covers all that stuff. So yeah, like I said, nothing new. That is pretty much the data download that we got today, but there is one other thing that was pretty interesting that I wanted to address before we left, and that was the release time for some of these units. Okay, so as you can see, it says August 10th, 2020 at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time for the two Awakenings here, as well as the STR uh, Kefla and Int Vados. And that is much earlier than normal, all right? So the usual time is typically around 11 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which for me is usually like 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. And on those days, I'm always streaming when the banner drops, so I just typically don't get sleep on those days. But for some reason, they decided to release these early unless there's something off here maybe um a mistake or something else i don't really know but usually the time that it's listed on dbz space is the time that the banner drops and the time that these units become available so i'm assuming this means that the banner is actually going to be dropping at 5 p.m pacific daylight time or 8 p.m eastern daylight time for me and uh that's awesome because I've always wanted banners to drop earlier. I've always been saying it's too late. I want to get some sleep. And uh, now it seems like my wishes wishes come true. It's kind of weird though. Like, I don't know why they're they're doing this. So this this is usually the like login or daily reset time where a lot of people like get their you know login rewards. It's also usually when we get the news for new celebrations or new campaigns. And uh, it's just much earlier. It's like, how many hours? Like six, seven hours earlier than normal. So yeah, guys, uh, expect the Kefla banner to drop much earlier than normal this time. I mean, like not that much earlier, but definitely quite a bit earlier. And for people that live in either my time zone or a time zone that's close to mine, it does make a big difference because it means that you can actually be awake at a reasonable time to summon on the banner or watch you know my stream or Goresh's stream or anybody else on global that will be streaming their summons um you can be up at that time if you have like work the next day or school the next day it's not a huge deal right so um that's definitely a big difference that's definitely a big change i hope that it becomes the norm to be honest because this is a much better time for me to be streaming and to be you know summoning right but uh, we'll see what happens we'll see if the banner actually drops at that time if it turns out to be a different time I'll probably still be live. All right, I'll probably still be live at that time. And if it ends up not being the the banner release time, then I guess I'll just look stupid for a second and uh, we'll do something else. I'll do a rank grinding stream or I don't know, something else. But either way, I'll be live at that time. So make sure you guys tune in for that. And uh, that's it, guys. Kefla's coming. The Awakenings. Honestly, I'm as excited for the Awakenings for this base Khalifla and uh, base Kale as I am for Kefla because these girls are absolutely amazing. As well as the Vados. Vados is really good. These free-to-play girls are actually really good too. 
like I said, you can find a link to uh, the video where I covered all this stuff um, from a couple days ago, so feel free to go check that out. I'm not gonna go over it again in this video, but that's uh, pretty much all I gotta say, guys. New time for banner releases, maybe permanently, or maybe for this one banner, maybe even not for this banner. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I can't confirm or deny, but I just see the time on the screen and it's different from the normal time so we'll see stay tuned okay so that is today's video guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you being here and uh, as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.